Hey, what's going on Facebook? Hope you're having a good Monday so far. Jumping on here because I got to talk to you about something. Oh, and it's really weird with these little things in. About ready to get my work in on. So I have a little... I have to have a little talk with you because I'm kind of just tired of it. I hear this time and time and time and time again. And what I hear is, Mark, I know what I, know what I have to do to lose weight. I know what I have to do to lose weight. I know exactly what I have to do to lose weight. But I just don't do it. I know what I need to do to lose weight, Mark. I know exactly what I need. I know exactly. But I just have to do it. And this is a bit of a rant, so I hope this pulled you in because it doesn't really, I don't get pissed off too easy. In fact, it takes a lot of, a lot of effort to piss me off. And I'm not really pissed off because I, you know, I'm generally, generally speaking, a pretty friendly guy. Uh, but I'm really just tired of it. <clears throat> you don't have to do anything. You can know what you need to do, but you don't have to do anything. You don't have to lose weight. You could stay exactly where you are. And you know what? That's your right to do that. You could stay overweight and you could stay unhappy. And maybe you're, you're overweight and happy. And that's cool. If that's you, this message is not for you. But if you're that person that's told yourself, let alone maybe tons of people, coaches, trainers, your family members, your friends, people who care about you, who want you to live a happy and healthy life. And I'm not talking just so you can fit in a freaking bathing suit in the summertime. I'm talking about so that you don't cost yourself a whole lot extra when you get older or maybe even sooner or maybe even right now that's costing you because you've been saying to yourself for the last maybe five or ten years, I know what I need to do to lose weight. If I had a freaking dollar for every time somebody told me, Mark, I know what I need to do to lose weight. I just have to do it. Well, here's my here's my question. Jesus, why the hell aren't you doing it? Why are you denying yourself your best self? That's my question to you. Why are you denying yourself your health? Now, I'm not talking about being a swimsuit model. I'm not talking about being shredded. I'm not talking about lifting a thousand pounds over your head. I'm talking about just pursuing your best, pursuing your healthiest. That's what I'm talking about. So like one of the worst excuses, there's so many excuses, right? And you can have one of two things. You can have excuses or you can have results. And that's with anything, not just your health, right? You can have excuses or you can have results. It's simple as that. So man, I, I don't get pissed off and it's Monday and everybody gets sometimes, oh yeah, I'm starting my diet today. Yeah, and it's, you start every single freaking Monday. I'm tired of that too. But the biggest thing I'm really sick and tired of People saying that, Mark, I know what I I know what I have to do to lose weight. Of course you do. It's very simple, right? But it isn't easy. It's very simple in the understanding. And it's not eat less and exercise more, right? If it was as easy as that. It's actually get your SHIT together. I think I said that this morning in the Daily Dose. I'm just full of, of curse words this, <laughs> today. I don't know. But the biggest thing, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to. Don't tell me. One thing to tell me. Mark, I know what I I know what I need to do to lose weight. I just have to do it. I just have to do it. Well, no, you don't. But you might have to do something else if you don't take care of yourself now. And that's that's my push to you right now. My push to you is you don't have to do any of it. You don't have to lose the 50 pounds that's causing you to go to your doctor and your doctor's telling you you're pre-diabetic. You don't have to choose to eat a healthy meal. You can go stuff your face with all the food you want and you can sit on your couch and you can feel sorry for yourself. And trust me, I know there's a lot of people that have all kinds of emotional attachments to food and that. And I get it. And I'm not discounting that at all. But here's the deal. You don't know what to do if you do oh well you know what to do it's just too damn hard right the other stuff's just too e it's too easy not to do it but here's what you're denying yourself and this is what i want to finish with because this is a short one and you know why i didn't want to work out i know what i have to do i honestly had a full day today full schedule full day literally everybody was out of the house and i was working 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 literally didn't even walk outside that's why you didn't see much post for me today and i don't want to work out right now but I know what I have to do. If I want to feel better, I need. I know what I have to do. And guess what the difference is? Between knowing what you have to do and saying, I just have to do it. As I don't want to be that person. I just have to do it. You're not going to get that from me. You're going to get, I'm going to go and freaking do it. I'm going to go and do it. Now, if you don't know what to do, 
if you're clueless because there's a lot of you that don't know what to do or you think you know what to do. I'll just go on keto. Let me just do a keto diet. Let me just join back up the gym membership I've had for the last two years and went three times. Let me just hire that trainer who's gonna basically count my reps twice a week and then not look at anything I'm eating for the rest of the week. Does that resonate with you? Seriously. Like, and here's why I'm doing it. And I'm not mad at you, I'm not. Maybe I just wanna give you a good swift kick in your ass to tell you that you deserve better, your body deserves better, your health deserves better, your spouse deserves better, your kids deserve better, maybe your parents who are now getting older like mine, I have to be healthy. I need to be able to take care of a lot of people in my life, not just myself. Now don't do it for them though. Don't do this for them. Don't say, no, I have to get in shape for my family. No, do it for you first and let everybody reap the rewards of it. And I can tell you that the rewards are way, way more valuable than saying, I just have to do it. Mark, I know what I need to do, I just have to do it. That's such a freaking cop out. Don't tell me that, don't give me those excuses. Don't say, oh, I just have to do it. You clearly don't, because if you've been telling yourself that for the past five or 10 years, then you're basically just telling yourself the same excuse over and over again. But listen, I gotta go, because I gotta do my workout. Literally, I'm just ranting here. I'm just sharing with you. And listen, you don't have to like this. Actually, I hope it pissed some people off who are watching this right now. I hope it actually maybe gave you the kick in the ass to say, you know what? I know I'm one of those guys. And you know, I'm really not liking what he's having to say right now. But he's actually, he's actually telling the truth. I know. And how do I know this? Because I've been doing this for 25 years. You see, some some excuses... They just never, they never end. They're the same excuses over and over and over again, year after year after year. Here's the other one. I don't even need to go on that. That's maybe a whole nother rant video. I don't have the time. Can I tell you the majority of people that are in my, my coaching program don't have the time either. Busy professionals. I got, I got moms that have four children, a full-time job and running a business and doing that. And guess what? They're making it work. Why? Because they're not letting that be an excuse. Time is not an excuse. But don't just, at the end of the day, please just don't save yourself the trouble of saying, Mark, I know it, just if you're gonna come and contact me, please just don't tell me if you're out of shape and unhealthy and overweight and unhappy. Please don't tell me, Mark, I know what I need to do. I just have to do it. Please don't do that. Don't do it to yourself anymore. And listen, if you actually want to get out of that mode, if you actually want to do something, and again, I'm not telling you you have to be like super fit. I'm talking about just being your absolute best getting yourself out of the freaking vicious cycle of, no, I'm still trying to lose weight, trying to lose weight, I'm still trying to lose weight. Gosh, I wanna help as many people as I can, but I can't help people that say they know what they need to do, they just have to do it. Either do two things, one of two things, either go and freaking do it and show me you're doing it, or get into my world so I can help you get there and help you do it. It's okay to ask for help. I think it's it, just so you know, it's okay to ask for help. Also, it's okay to invest in yourself. Do you realize it's one of the best investments you can make in your life? Not in a brand new car. Cars don't last. In fact, as soon as you pull it out of the dealership, you lost 20% of the value of the car, right? You buy a house, a house, sure, that's good to have a roof over your head and that's good. You can put in the fancy refrigerator and the, the uh, Viking stove and spend $20,000 on that. But please, don't tell me that's more valuable than you. You're more valuable than that, I know you are. So listen, I gotta go and run now. Do yourself a favor, get out of that. Get out of that mode of saying, I know what I have to do. Just go two things, either go and do it, or you need to come into my world to see if my coaching program is a good fit. That's all I got, take care. Hope I wasn't too mean, but you know what? Sometimes you need a little swift kick in the ass. Take care.